I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Hey one, how you doing? My name's Sajex, and uh, today we're starting off this video a little bit different. Um, let me explain all the problems I had to face. First time, there's so many skipped frames that you couldn't tell what was going on. Second time, I recorded just my face. Third time, I didn't record the audio, okay? So, I'm so also, there's going to be skipped frames because there's something wrong with my computer. I'm going to have to take it in, and that probably will make me go dark again. Again, I'm sorry for this of being dark so often, but once I get everything sorted out and fixed, I hope that it's just something going wrong with everybody accessing the internet because of the quarantine thing. Hopefully that um, everything clears up by then. Uh, I've had to enable performance mode, which I've never been able, which I never had to do before. Uh, again, there's going to be skip frames on this, I can already tell you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to commentate over the one that's most intact. This is the one that didn't record the audio. I know I'm being repet repet uh, repet 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 repetitive, uh, but I'm sorry. I I'm just so fucking frustrated with myself. Okay, so it looks like I'm just giving the intro, just talking about uh, how it was my birthday a couple days ago and none of you guys gave me presents so I'm still mad about that. Why wouldn't you guys give me presents? I, I'm entitled to everything and you are entitled to nothing. Pieces of shit. I had to use my white one which is like my ba backup bandana. It's the one I originally had but that one just smelled like bleach all the time and plus this one's much more comfortable. Uh, with that I'm blurring out part of my face because again it slips down enough and with this one I can tie it loosely and it just doesn't and this one i can tie it loosely and it doesn't shut the fuck up uh screen uh stream steam fucking steam sorry my i'm not gonna be able to talk that much but yeah um so i believe where we left off is that we found out the murder i don't know what we had to do with that um blade stuff uh as again i look through the stuff but i I looked through an internet walkthrough because, again, I had to delete this and redo it hey, and redo it. Oh, yeah. We're talking to this um, street artist. Whoa, badass coat. Hey, don't oh, swear. Thanks. It's your first, week this ago. is your first and only right warning. On. You need to get some patches and stickers and shit for it, too. Give it some personnel. That was your fucking warning. I thought I told you. Now you're going to have to deal with the consequences. See, kids, this is why you don't swear. I'll, so another thing I, I would like to that. point out so, is that some kind of it's Monday right now because yeah. again lots of issues with my thing so I'm already two days behind on editing so this might be a little bit less editing before I think I had an aneurysm there uh yeah I made a joke about testes uh, on the wall very funny but something I didn't say is that this person is vandalizing in front of a cop uh and just doesn't do anything about it it's gotta be ball lightning, right? Yeah, uh, balls. That's an interesting take. Man, that guy's high off his ass. Oh, uh, he wasn't- Volter is not in the last three, uh, of my videos. He's a very funny guy. Hi so, there, Volter. Morning, miss. How was your first night in town? Well, I didn't yeah, get raped, nice and that's pretty good for the, uh, small town city. This num -num forgot to with me. four mur Why three murders, actually. Snoring for nine hours. Oh, this is my favorite part of the game. I love the little I robot with Walter. For more than seven. Oh, wow. That makes it much less like torture. Hey, 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 that robot has red eyes. I I okay. I've seen many movies. I don't like when robots have red eyes. Based, but I'll live. Glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you today? I think I was making a joke there. What's your opinion on Gabriel, the policeman? Ah, fuck. A... Nissa thinks that guy is robophobic. I mean, he's right. I'm also robophobic because I think humanity is the superior race, okay? YouTube, please don't demonetize me. I know you are robots demonetizing left and right. B please don't hurt me. I, I have a family to feed. Burgess. She might also go by the name Melinda. So, yeah, we're looking Melinda for Melinda. Sounds familiar, but I can't really place her. Sorry, you rascal. What I am is a tinker, a craftsman, 
a father of machines. I cherish building them. I adore putting them on display. And I especially love talking to them. I think that's a sign of being crazy. So how long have you been building robots? Oh, uh, ever since I was a boy. I didn't have many friends, you see. So... So, I decided to befriend these machines instead. I mean, if you don't have any friends, just become a YouTuber. Ha 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 ha. Man, I'm so I'm fucking off. depressed See right you now. later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. Also, as I've changed this, I'm not really sitting at a desk anymore. Uh, my feet are just, like, right up against a desk. And also, uh, not a desk, my dresser, because this is in my bedroom. And I had to bring a chair in here, and I feel like a fucking child, because I have to sit on, like, four books to get level with the goddamn camera. I'm still wondering why oh, there's a flap of paper up there. Uh, not much to tell. The comments eight. Wow. Yep. Yeah, why do I keep on clicking on Gabriel? My hand was shaking because I, I had like Katarina, four pounds of cake Melinda? that day, that's and that's when I decided teacher, to record. I um, that's what I heard the kids call her outside. So, are you yeah. absolutely sure? Positive. As far as I know, she's the only Melinda in Nordson. So Gabriel knows That's that excellent. Melinda is the school if teacher her, for, the, for the for the school. Sorry, the S K O L A. Yes, ma'am. I'm also wondering what that sheet of paper in the vents is. If that's going to be important later. <laughs> I look incredibly. I look like I'm on coke right here. What? With all the the sudden movements, I never realized I actually right, do that. I'm off. Good luck out. Okay, so here uh, I was making some stupid joke. Uh, I think I was also putting together that we already saw Katarina in the. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, we already saw Katarina in that little cutscene before uh, in day one. Uh, I think now I was just looking for uh, some sort of DNA sample or something. Oh yeah, see, I wanted to show you guys this brand new dance move that I created in this video, if it ever actually pauses, will just be the, the talk of the town in 2020, okay? And it's so super simple uh, to do, just watch what I do. Amazing, right? I guess there are no classes today. But it's also... I believe it was Monday that I might be I might be completely wrong about this when I came here and this is day two so wouldn't this be Wednesday why wouldn't there be children in there also from what we saw there's only like two if uh, two three if you count that one baby in the womb I'm not trying to be misogynistic but are you I swear that reminds me of someone but I don't know who pay no attention to what that joke was here I made some sort of comment on that giant death robot in the corner. Path um, of the Pilgrim. Hmm. Kind of an odd name for an exhibition about the collapse. See, that's a pretty obvious clue, and I'm going to skip forward uh, after this jump cut. This facility has been deemed compliant uh, with the Third Decree, Twelfth Amendment, on November 4th, 79 AR. Oh yeah, I remember what this is. So, at least in the U.S., uh, I believe there's already Twelve Amendments. Wait, actually, I'm going to quickly search that up. Okay, I got the real constitution right here. Um, let's see, how do you think I pay for all this shit? It, I'm a robber. Um, so, oh yeah, 12th Amendment right here. It says, um, when the time comes, one should not have sex with a robo-doll. Okay, let's just tear up that part of the constitution. And we're clear. Ah, crap, I just ripped off, uh, ripped out the right to own guns. Oh well. So what happened here is that um, no idea what the I found out that the pilgrim's prayer thing, what the path of the pilgrim, I mean, was part of a little clue that you find in the conduit book, and then you just push the things that um, correspond to that, and then something opens. So big, hunky, sexy death robot. Um, I think was just a throw off because what I originally tried was uh, death robot points to that points to that and oh. then yeah if you do a certain combination it opens up a secret lab but here's what I was talking about so why have a secret lab with a clue in it when you already know the answer to the clue 
I mean, it'd make your thing just a little bit more secret. Also, I'm gonna have to constantly blur my face because, again, something with this is that it just keeps on falling down. Maya must have conducted her secret illegal experiments here. Also, what is the class? I hope that they, uh, like, fill in the blanks uh, by the time I get done. I hope to do half of day, what is it then, day three, I believe? Because by this, I, uh, by the time I'm finished with this, it, it's, uh, I'm already done. But, yeah, yeah. This might be useful, but it looks a bit heavy. I'll leave it here until I find a reason to pick it up. Yeah, so there's a, a baby needs, uh, some food. An electronic headset of some kind. Looks turned off. It's not a headset. A headset is two headphones with a little strap across it. It's a little mind control helmet, if you ask me. So we find these cassette, cassette tapes, and this is actually the first time I there knew what to do with these cassette here. tapes. Uh, if you plug them into the audio station, this would be my genuine reaction, well, for the second time at least. In a dream, I was summoned by the Acer. The Acer? Oh god, I'm using an Acer god, computer. Should I be Huldra. worried? She would be conjured in my mind, and the creed, at long last, would become manifest. I yeah, that's a tears, crazy person. And this vision has stuck with me ever since. Hey, if you awake from a dream, like a dream dream, not a nightmare, this but if you awake from a dream with tears, I think you need to see a psychiatrist. Not a psychiatrist, a therapist. A psychiatrist is, is the fucking people that break your spine to feel better. An AI super intelligence would essentially be indistinguishable from a from a god. Oh yeah, infinite I think this is the point where frames start to skip. Knowledge, and by extension, infinite power, illness, suffering, even death itself could be turned into obsolete concepts. Oh no. And what is a, what is a god, god? If not one who has reign over life? And death. Well, if a god is someone has reign over life and death, doesn't that mean every yeah, single yeah. doctor is Those a god? Are conduit ideas, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be my camera. I'm blurring that right there. Um, my camera that is um malfunctioning, but I think I'm I'm gonna take care of that. If anything, I could just punish my computer. This is what you get for not working correctly. What am I doing with my life? I mean that I'm gonna skip back a little bit. Okay, so uh, Vera comments about why there was a red light and that not being not not be the good look though. Um, so we go there, we see the chamber status. Um, I make think make a joke about it being too thin, and the nutrient canister we found earlier needs to be put in there. So, uh, yeah. So we oh, go the back. Tank is nearly out of nutrients. I should keep an eye out for a replacement canister. So we refill the nutrient canister at Maya's place, and then um, what else? What else? And oh yeah. So I've actually really wondered what nutrients taste like, and I just ordered an Amazon box full of nutrients, so I'm gonna pour myself a cup of it and see what it tastes like. Okay, so I just got, I just got it, and, uh, as you can see right here, it, it's not tea. Shut up. So, first time, I'm gonna be trying nutrients, if I can step over my goddamn headphones. Mmm. Yeah, I'm tasting kind of, like, yes. Yeah, I used the full nutrient canister with the, um, thing, the light turns off, and yeah, everything is good. Alright, red light gone. Must have done the trick. Okay, now I'm gonna skip ahead to the next, uh, big important part. Oh, no, 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 we still have something to do here. So, uh, I'll what happens is... Thing. Is that we look at the baby? No, 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 no. Sorry, I just skipped past it. So there's a little bit part of um, the ghost boyfriend that shows up. 
So red light's gone. All right, red light gone. Must have done the trick. And now what we need to do is that uh, we look over to... I don't have control. She looks over to it. Looks like things are working out okay for you in there. And we get to name it. So we come up with a nickname to the, uh, to the baby. I was hoping that we could choose our own, but unfortunately that would have come up with a lot of bad things. So I did the nut, the pea nut, uh, because that is the most professional name in my opinion. Uh, come on, man. What are you, what are you waiting for? Little, uh... We could have called him shrimp and made... Because that's the most delicious food. Alright, don't at me. So, uh, what happens here? <laughs> peanut? Huh, peanut? Don't fucking oh, judge me or up. I'll kill you again. Makes you think, doesn't, 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 doesn't it? Seeing a baby like this? Yeah, it reminds me of everything that happened before. I Same found here. that if I report recur, know, uh, record earlier in the day, it, it tends it to be you, better it overall. It is, is, is. It is, it is, it is, Well, yeah, you're dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am, but you're not. You still have time to make up for what we lost. I love how that guy just casually accepts that he's dead. Just like, oh, you can't, Alex. You're dead. Yeah, okay. Fuck. I don't fucking care. I need to do shit. Um, I think what we did now was say the wounds are still fresh, and I don't know. I'd like that, but the wounds are still fresh. Tastes like shit. Well, crap, my thing just crashed, so, uh, basically, I'm just gonna wrap up what happens. We find, um, uh, Katarina's picture in, in what's his place, uh, in the schoolhouse. Uh, we uh, can identify it using the picture. We bring it to Walter, and he says that while he was, uh, sniffing around for parts, he, um, noticed that Katarina was looking over there and then just, like, disappears. Then we find, um... Two little boy, uh, a boy and a little girl having like a sort of domestic dispute over there, uh, just like my mom and dad. And um, what happens is, is that we use the biometric analyzer on them, and what happens is that they uh, tell us that Katarina is in there with a uh, in a fridge that um, goes underground after we amnesia them. Uh, so basically, we are producing organic roofies. Um, what else? What else? Uh, so the gate is electrified because there's a little trap. So we use amnesia on the technology, the, the least, I think, yeah. Her name was Lisa that was fixing the gate and she helps us get past there. And um, once we get past the thing after I die, and it's the, only time, the first time you can die in there, we are confronted, uh, we go to a little, sh eh, it opens up to a little shack where there is a, uh, what, what, what? There is a fucking, oh yeah walk up to the door and there's a gunshot and Katarina pops out the corner with a gun. Now, because I'm so charismatic, I sweet talk her to not shooting the gun at me and we have a talk in there and she reveals that um, her, uh, she can't have a baby so she went over to the conduit and pretended to sympathize with their beliefs just until the baby was born and then they'd escape Norsen. And apparently EPOS, which is another terrorist group, has a church in here, and she believes that they're responsible for all the killings. And she doesn't know why Leonard is involved, the guy that was crushed in the recycling bin, but they might have something to do. The day ends there, and what happens is that we report back to Stina, the, the head uh, person or whatever, and uh, explain to her uh, all the stuff. And unfortunately, we can't go in there guns blazing because they have a diplomatic status. So if they were to shoot us uh, that, uh, and do stuff with our body uh, that I definitely wouldn't be involved in, uh, wink wink, and uh, basically uh, we need to try, next time we need to try to go in there. And before we leave, the ghost boyfriend tells us that, uh, the, would ask us if we would have done the same if, we were, if he was still alive. And uh, we didn't get a choice to that and then we wake up. 
I haven't gotten a new ability. Uh, I hope that everything is sorted out next time. I'm sorry for everything that's going on. I have six errors, so there's probably six parts in here where there's just been horrible frame skips. I'm sorry for that. I'm going to send this to be fixed. There, I might be gone for a little bit or a long bit. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you did like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and goodbye. So I actually found what's wrong with my computer, and I'll sing it to you so you guys can understand it even more. Da da da, Adobe can suck my ass. Oh, and also share this video with a friend. I forgot to mention that in the outro.